Hi there, this is Nicole DeBoer, also known as Lieutenant Esri Dax from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And welcome to Star Trek Fleet Command. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is, in my opinion, one of the most important videos we've done in quite some time. So I'm just going to go ahead and warn you now. It may not be the most entertaining, but it is very important. So I got to ask if you watch this video, share this out with your Discord, with your server, with everybody that you know that plays the game. Because this is a project that we're going to push forth to the dev team. Now, yesterday during the live stream, I took a lot of bug fixes and you know, things that people want to add to the game. But this project is actually something that the dev and live ops team themselves have been open about, hey, we can add more things. And that is more officers in the transporter pattern pool. Now, we talked about the transporter pattern pool just a couple days ago. And I know DJ did a video, a live stream on it probably two days ago. And basically what we've come to is a lot of the officers that we have in here, while there's some really good options, have been static. They've been the same for quite some time, and now it's time to add some fresh faces. So what we're going to do is, well, actually what I've done and what I need your help in doing is we're going to help them decide who goes in there. Get a community response from all the players that we can, and my goal is within 48 hours to have 3,000 responses. That might sound like a lot, but when the YouTube channel's at like 23,000 people and my Discord is at like almost 8,000 people, Shouldn't be that hard. And then we'll also get DJ to help. No one shall. So if we can get those type of numbers and responses in a short period of time to show them, hey, here's what the people would like. I think that will go a long way into helping determine who gets added to this list. Now, I have set up a Google form. If you've never used one before, don't worry. It's not hard. All you got to do is click boxes. And the link will be in the description as well as the first comment pinned on this channel. So just do this number right there. Like watch the video, then do this. Actually, you probably need to do this. Scroll a little bit if you're on your phone or your tablet. And right at the top comment, link. Click it. And that'll bring you to this wonderful piece of artistry that you see before you. So what I want to do is get some... I want to add variety, but I also want to give options for people. So if you look here, we've got several different officers that I've put on the list to be voted on. And I'll actually scroll down because you can see... Whoops, I didn't mean to put that in the background. But... <laughs> Darn screen captures. But anyway, we've got Mud, you're a DC, Harry Mud, so both Muds, 5 of 10, which is Borg Jayla, 10 of 10, the Borg Tribble, great mining officer, 7 of 10, which is Borg Decius, that's a rare card, Moreau, a rare card, because we've already got Pike in here, very important for those hostile grindings, there's Pike C on the left side of your screen. Yuki, which is a fantastic PvP officer and for fighting those hostile bosses, those gold uh, bosses that you have to fight. Yuki, very, very good there. Merrick, which is an anti-faction officer. Krell, anti-faction officer. Harrison, which word on the screen is, they're open to adding him. So if you want him, lots of votes. Maybe it'll happen. And then Curon, another good rare card. I know one thing a lot of people are going to say is, but there are no rare cards in the transporter pattern shard and you would be right but that doesn't mean there can't be there's nothing that said there's no law like you go read the scopely terms of service nothing says you cannot put rare shards in here it's not doable nobody said that ever it's never been stated so this is actually the something you can see some of those officers that while epics are very important i think we can all agree that harrison more important than carol marcus honestly yuki more important than carol marcus honestly Almost everybody more important than Carol Marcus. Sorry, Carol Marcus. It would help if your description was actually accurate, which it's not, by the way. But anyway, she's not. Leave her alone and get some of this that we're talking about. Now, what I'm going to do now is tell you which ones I would vote for, and I'm going to smudge the results. I'm actually not going to smudge the results. I'm just going to influence the vote. Is that legal? I don't know. Who knows what's legal with so we're going to sort by group, and I'm going to tell you the ones that I think that you should really go for. Now, Curon is an interesting one. It will come up first, and you saw him with an auction recently, which is the 50% chance to automatically reload the first kinetic shot. Very specific to the ships that this can work on, 
but can be very effective for your Stella, which uh, when you're doing those eclipse hunts, getting those extra shots, copy paste it to the next round. Very cool, but not who I would personally vote on because of limited use. Next up is Harrison. Now, I do recommend voting for Harrison. If we can get them to add Harrison to the list, and I'll go ahead and tell you this now. Everybody having full Harrisons will wreck the meta of this game, completely trash it. But you know what? They've already done three auctions of Harrison. There's an auction for Harrison going on right now where one server has got over 400 million points. And there's still 24 hours left. Yeah, exactly. I did not lie to you. 400 million. Shout out to uh, Wicked Witches server. She posted that, uh, that server 15, which is also DJ server. So, holy shnikes, Batman. If you don't believe me, screenshot. Bam. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. This was several hours ago, so it's gone above that now. Holy, holy, holy cannoli. Anyway, off the screen. John Harrison is somebody I'd recommend. He's limited in how great he can be. For free-to-play, though, you want to talk about free-to-play being to strike, able to strike back? Saladin with Harrison and then throw Burn on it? It's not the same as having a Rialta. It's not as cost-efficient. But it's still good. I mean, you could still put some serious hurting because that first gun is going to hurt really bad, especially with a 60% bypass of Harrison. If you get him upgraded all the way, 100% bypass. But I think he should be added to the store. Now we get some controversy on what gets added. And I am a big, big fan. See, here's the MUDs. I actually don't recommend the MUDs or your DC. If y'all want them, that's fine. Once again, that goes back to the Armada and the Eclipse side. Uh, five of ten is somebody I think that you should definitely get. Uh, five of ten is one of the most important cards in the game. She is good for everything from hostile grinding to armadas. Her secondary ability is good for reputation grinding. Somebody just put out their own YouTube video about how they got 10 million faction lock in a little over a month. And, you know, if you want to speed up that process, 5 of 10 is the way to do it. 10 of 10 is a great mining officer for that mining speed boost. Increases the speed of parsteel, tritanium, and dilithium. But meh, the secondary, though, 80%. Very, very useful there, increasing the efficiency of that mining laser. And there's, of course, other cards that are there, but I've been told some of the newer ones aren't going to be available for this option yet, which makes sense because they're still trying to sell them. So why would they give them away when they could sell them for not free? But uh, from all the others that we have here, the three that I would recommend would be Harrison, 5 of 10, and 10 of 10. But that doesn't mean there's a wrong option. Yuki, extremely valuable. Moreau, if you got Pike or you're getting transporter patterns to unlock Pike, then you're going to need Moreau for the best hostile crew uh, in the game. So there's a lot of options. I'm asking you to vote for three. Pick three, and then we're going to take the, all the results and forward them to the overlords. would like thousands of those results. So the only way that we can get that is if you head over here, do this, and hit the submit button. So do like, um, yeah, I want Yuki. Check. And I want Merrick. Check. And then hit submit. Bingo. And I will record the responses. And in about a 48-hour to 72-hour time frame, I will then take those responses and give them to the overlords for them to go over and decide if they want to add any of these precious officers to the list. Also, really excited, Mayflower, scrapping, seven days left, jellyfish, 13 days till build. I'm actually really excited about that. Over two years, I finally got a four-star ship. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Anyway, as always, I appreciate all the help that you provide as the player base because y'all are the reason we do all these type of things. And I also want to give a big shout out to the dev team and the live ops that we have worked with, whether it's the ones that I work with or the one no one shall works with or DJ or Ripper or the mods doesn't matter because we all talk to different ones. Thank you for being accepting and willing to hear these type of ideas. And um, please, please, please actually do this. Don't make me make this whole freaking video with 10,000 views and 5,000 responses and you not do anything. Don't do that. Don't embarrass me out in public like that. I'm just kidding. We love y'all. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys, and we'll catch you on the next exciting adventure of Star Trek. Bleak command. And remember, link, description, right down there. Share it out with your friends and family. Share the video. We need this to go out as much as humanly possible, or Vulcanly possible, or Andorianly as possible, or Klingon as possible, or Romulan as possible, or Vulcan as possible. Spock doesn't go on. Wow, possible.
Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro. For the Empire and glory to your house.